everyone and welcome back to my channel. You are meeting me in my road today because I placed a very big order on H&M and I thought I would do a little unboxing and first impressions while also showing you guys some autumn outfit ideas because I feel like I'm very intentional with the clothes I buy right now. I'm trying to build my capsule wardrobe while also trying to create elevated and sophisticated outfits. I don't want to look the same as everybody else, but I still want to be in clothing that I know I'm going to wear in five years. So I'm going to show you guys how I built an outfit and what I bought for this season. So let's start with these grey trousers, which I bought because they are such a staple. I'm such a trouser over a jean girl, and I really needed a good fitting pair of light grey trousers. I also already had a vision in mind of how I was going to style these. I really see these being paired in a monochromatic outfit. So I literally bought these trousers because I knew I would pair it with this sleeveless blazer that I recently got from Cider. I feel like the two pair so well and it's a unique outfit. It's sophisticated but in a way it's also dressed down and I think if you just chuck a really big long wool coat over this it would look so cool. I also picked up these ankle boots from H&M, also in grey, purely because I don't have any ankle boots in grey, but since we're going for the monochromatic vibe, let's see how this looks. These are so sick. They're sock boots, which I'm obsessed with. I've been buying sock boots for years. I think they're such an autumn winter a staple. Honestly, I feel a bit like an off-duty model in this outfit, and I'm here for it. Obviously not the most appropriate for a super chilly day, so this is a great opportunity to show you guys the coat I bought. And here she is. She is actually very heavy, but this is a really long black wool belted coat from Weekday, which is also sold on H&M. Now, I don't know how, me being a coat girl, like I literally have an entire wardrobe just full of coats, don't own a staple piece like this. When I was looking for a back coat, majority of them were so overpriced to find the one that I was looking for and I was very particular that it had to be this style, I wanted it to be belted and I needed it to be maxi because I wanted to go for that like elevated Parisian look. Hopefully, oh my lord. This is absolutely the perfect length that I was going for and you can just chuck it on top of any outfit. This is what we're looking at, and then you can button it up. I absolutely love it. The material is really nice and thick. I feel like when I've bought cheaper versions from like ASOS or New Look, the fabric is so thin and it doesn't give you that expensive vibe. And for the purpose of this video, I will show you an entirely different way to style this coat. And here we have it. I've gone for a more dressed down look to style the coat. So I've just paired it with this basic white tee, which I got from ASOS, and this mini skirt, which I also got from ASOS, and then these white Yeezy trainers to really dress it down and make it casual. Like this is the actual outfit that we're dealing with, but just throwing on a big coat like this makes you look like a fashionista. To finish it off, I'm styling it with a black pair of sunglasses. I don't care what anybody says, you can wear sunglasses. In the colder months, the sun does not need to be shining for you to wear them. Fashion was never meant to be practical, okay? Sunglasses are a fashion accessory, so treat them like one. And I feel like that just pulls the entire outfit together. You guys are not ready for this one. This was the thing I was most excited to arrive because is this not just the most perfect coat? I haven't seen this in any other stores, nor have I seen anybody else wearing it, and that's what I love about it. Love it, the gold statement buttons, the fact that it's navy, which is such a classic autumn color. I actually bought it to be worn clothes like this and then with like knee high boots, so let's style it. So I actually already own these. These are from ASOS. Oh, literally the perfect autumn outfit. <gasps> I'm gonna quickly put together another outfit to show you guys what this coat looks like when it's open. This is what the coat looks like when it's open. I've gone for an all white look. This is just a basic white skirt from Pretty Little Thing that I got years ago. And this white tank is from Revolve. I feel like it really adds something extra to the outfit because of the cutouts here. But I styled this outfit because I wanted to show you the next thing I got in this haul, which are these super dreamy white knee-high leather boots from H&M. And that is another fit. I feel like the all white makes the navy and the gold buttons and the jacket just so much more striking. What do you guys think? Next up in the haul is this knitted baby pink 
maxi skirt. Now, I have a few pieces like this in very neutral colours and they're always very fitted, like a pencil skirt. This one flows out towards the end, which is very unique, but I actually really like it and it's so comfortable to just be in. In a way, it feels like you're not actually wearing anything. I've just paired it with the same tank to show you guys what it looks like. I don't have a lot of pink in my wardrobe, but I thought let me mix it up this autumn and try and incorporate some colours by doing pastel versions instead. And I thought with this skirt, it would be a great opportunity to show you guys some of the jewellery that I got from H&M. They are honestly so cute. I'm not gonna lie to you as comfortable and beautiful as this skirt is and as versatile as it is because it's in a pastel shade I did buy it as a pair with something else when I was shopping online so I'm gonna show you because I already had a vision in mind when I bought this and it's a pink coat in the exact same shade I'm so excited about this are you joking this is giving everything I know it's such a summery color but when you pair it together and just the fact that it's such a nice big long autumnal coat it's such a safe way to incorporate bright colors into the colder seasons I am so here for it with the new earrings too such a serve and just to prove that even this pink coat is a staple I'm gonna style it another way so this is the next bit. Actually, none of this is from H&M, but we're gonna pair it with the H&M coat. Now, I love the tonal vibe of this outfit. I have a Skims bodysuit on, which you would have seen from my Skims haul. These beautiful beige trousers from Because of Alice. And then these ankle boots that I've had for ages, which are from Pretty Little Thing. And as good of an outfit as this is, is basic, right? And anybody can put it together. It gives it that extra pop. When you take it off, you can have the tonal vibe, but I just think, when you're out and about, you're definitely gonna stand out. The next thing I bought are these khaki parachute pants. Very different for me, you guys know I am a girly girl. I love the colour and I love challenging myself when it comes to fashion. I also knew I wasn't gonna style it in the way that it's intended to be styled and I was gonna dress it up and make it a little bit more girly. So, if you guys have watched my how to dress video on my main channel, which so many of you love, then you'll know about the fancy casual fancy outfit formula, essentially. So this is when you have a super casual piece like this, but you use juxtaposition to appear more stylish by pairing it with things that don't really make sense to everybody else. In this case, I'm pairing these very casual parachute pants with these more dressy ankle boots. And then I'm gonna keep on this Skims bodysuit. I'm honestly here for this outfit. It's giving Kim K circa 2016 when she was in her Yeezy era. Like even throwing on top a white or a khaki long overcoat would be a vibe. Next up, we have this stripy top. Now, going back to fashion rules, in order to make this outfit super elevated, this right here is such a classic staple piece that you will see everyone wearing in autumn and winter. And nowadays, it's seen as like an old money piece of clothing. So people will wear it with like a black coat, a black trouser, maybe a blue jean, some heels or trainers. And we are not about to do that here. That's why I've paired it with this green skirt. And then I'm gonna go in and pair it with those knee-high black boots that we had before. And already I've taken such a basic piece and now I've made it look more different to anybody else who'd be wearing the exact same top on the street. But to add the final touch, I'm gonna add my favorite leather jacket. This is from Bershka right on top. I love it. This is really us playing with autumnal layering. I think the colors just complement each other so, so well. And I really hope you guys can see from this haul that it really just takes ordering a few basics when you're doing a haul and then pairing it with things you already have in your wardrobe to make an abundance of new outfits. You don't need to buy the entire outfit. I have now made old items in my wardrobe way more useful just by buying a few little bits to add to them. Next up in the haul, I got this long sleeve turtleneck bodysuit from H&M, which I love. Now, you can find so many versions of this top from so many different places, but the reason I reached for this one is because of the material. Like, it's honestly giving skims. I'm not even joking. I'm obsessed with how it just molds to your body. I love that the sleeves are longer. It feels super comfortable. It feels so similar to the skims tilt neck that I have. I paired it with this pair of light wash denim jeans from Meshki. And to mix it up, I'm going to wear this really old blazer I have from Mango. It's giving that old money vibe while being able to play with colour in autumn. And the last thing I bought was this black sheer 
turtleneck top. It's very loose fitting, but I think I actually kind of like that about it. And I totally see myself wearing this in the daytime with that big black overcoat that we saw in the beginning of the video. But I paired it with these wide leg dark green trousers to give it something different and a pair of black court heels. I definitely wear this for like a dinner with friends, pair it with the black Chanel just to dress it up a little bit and throw on that big black overcoat. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, comment down below and let me know what your favorite outfit was because I definitely need to know. And if you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I actually hit 200,000 followers on there today. I can't believe it. So I'd love to have some more of you on there, especially if you wanna see the outfits that I wear. And if you're new here, I have a whole main channel where we talk about self-development which is also linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.